Well, I messed up. I bought the wrong parts and now I have to put the Jeep back together and wait for the correct parts. It happens to the best of us and all you can do is try and remember the differences that some vehicles have. In my particular case, TJ Rubicon axles use thick cut gears and I forgot that. So I ordered a carrier for 392 and up because originally I had 410 gears and now I'm running 513s. But I need a carrier for 373 and down because the Rubicon factory lockers use a thick cut gear. So it's designed to work with the smaller carrier brake. And so that's where I am today. Uh, I got to put the Jeep back together so we can roll it out and get the new parts on order and do this all over again. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let me show you guys what happened. As you can see, there's some metal there and there's some metal in there. So TJ Rubicon lockers, specifically the rear, are uh, kind of known to grenade at any point in time. And I knew this. I knew this was a ticking time bomb, but uh, I went with it. And believe it or not, this didn't break in Moab. This broke the day after I got back from Moab and I went out and did a off-road recovery. Picture here. That was a really heavy truck and there was no way to get around. It was a tight trail. I had to do a dead pull with the winch and I had to dig myself some holes in reverse. And I think that's what did the little uh, spider gears inside in. Once, uh, once I get the proper locker, you can see the height difference here. Once I get the proper locker, I'm gonna do a full tear down on this and uh, show you guys what went wrong. So now I'm gonna have to send this guy back and get the one for the right carrier brake for thick cut gears. So what I mean by thick cut gears, this is for 392 and numerically higher gearing. This carrier is for 373 and lower. You can see where metal's gone through this one. There's a piece of metal in that one. Okay, now we're talking. There's the carnage. Come on, you're so close, oh so close, there it is. One tooth, two teeth, three teeth, four teeth. <sighs> that sucks. Oh well. Part of the fun and games. Interesting design for spider gears. I don't think it's a very good design to be honest with you, but it's interesting. Now, let me wipe my hands. I'll show you the difference for the Eaton E-Locker. You see the Eaton uses conventional spider gears. And as you can see, the teeth are a lot larger than these little guys. And that should put up with more abuse. And it's a four pinion locker. So there's four 
of those side gears, sorry, four of these side gears. So those are a lot more, a lot more surface area and they're holding stuff together. All right, well, that was fun dissecting what, uh, what went wrong. Now we're going to uh, clean this up and go ahead and finish installing our new locker. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. If you guys are interested in seeing my re-gear video, uh, you can go back. It's the first, uh, it's in the first five videos and I covered doing a complete re-gear in this Jeep back then. That was about a year ago now. So yeah, we'll catch you guys later. So I'm gonna go ahead, put it back together, and this is gonna be a quick little video explaining my screw up, which happens. We, uh, we can't all be perfect, but whatever. It's part of uh, building things and learning new things. So I'm gonna put the Jeep back together I think I'm gonna leave the carrier out, just leave it in the back, put the axles back in, put the brakes back together and back it out. I'll get the proper one ordered this week and hopefully it'll show up by next weekend and I can start this all over again. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and we'll see you next time. Also, you may have noticed, I got some new camera gear. I think the sound quality is going to be much better now that I have a proper lapel mic. And I think the image quality is going to be a big improvement too over an iPhone. So moving forward, stuff should be even better. Thanks for watching, guys.